Okay, so in this next video for the week, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that could be useful for some people. So I have this head here that I'm trying to add detail in, maybe some more wrinkles, or I want to add some more or something. And say it's in a section like up here in the forehead where I just don't have enough detail to do what I want to do. Um, so I turn the frame mode on, so again you can do that by clicking here, or the shortcut to it is shift F. So I want to add detail just in this section. I don't want to have to subdivide the whole head. It's already 2.2 million, and I just wanted to subdivide a certain section. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Keep in mind though, this trick also will do something to your UVs, and I'm going to show you guys how to take care of that. So if we look at the UVs real quick of this, let's do a UV check really quick. So I've laid out the UVs really quick on this just to have some UV layout so you guys can see what will happen. So we have this head now with UVs laid out. So let's go ahead and before you do this trick guys, please save your tool so you have the save tool with your UVs layout. Uh, you have that saved away. So what we're going to need to do is clone this. And what we'll clone it again because um, I'm going to show you guys two different ways to do this. So we're going to rename this. So we're going to call this one bad UVs because this is the one we're going to be doing the work on. So I want to call that bad UVs, and we can call this one. I'm going to come. I'm going to call this one brush. Um, you guys will see what I'll call brush after. So now we have a good UVs brush, bad UVs. They all have the same subdivision levels. We go to our UV check. I'm even the bad UVs. We have the same UVs, so we're good to go. So now, with bad UVs on, okay, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to zoom in on this head, and I'm going to go into that section of the forehead, and I want to mask off that section. So again, holding control, and just go ahead and paint out what you want to mask off. So this is what I want to actually get more detail as far as geometry goes, okay? This trick, however, the way I have it right now, what will happen is it will actually divide everything outside the mask. So I need to inverse this. So to do this, you hold down Control and click on the canvas. You notice I just inversed my mask, so the whole head, but that little section is masked off. Again, Control, click on canvas, Control, and click on chemical inverse. You, of course, can also go to your masking options within your tool palette and click on inverse. Okay. So now that we have this masked off, we're going to want to go ahead and walk down our subdivision levels. So the shortcut to that is Shift D. So I just walked down to my lowest subdivision level. And now I'm going to subdivide this. So Control D is the shortcut. Again, you just go to your geometry and click on Divide. And now it's going to divide my mesh. And if you put it on frame mode, which is Shift F is the shortcut, or go ahead and click on frame right here. Again, Shift F or frame. Now you're going to see what happened is that section only got subdivided. So what happened to the UVs though? Okay, and the reason why I cloned this is this is the reason. So if I go check my UVs now, my UVs are destroyed. Okay, but I still need to add that detail. So let's let's go ahead and add the detail. So here's our section that we want to add in. So let's just for video purposes sake, we're going to just make this a couple really extravagant wrinkles within him. So if you notice they're in that section. Okay. Now we have a bad UV, but we still have our good UVs. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is append the good UVs. So now that we've appended the good UVs and the bad UVs, and they both are on the highest subdivision levels, make sure they're both on the highest subdivision levels. Make sure both the eyes are on. With bad UVs selected, let's go ahead and disable our UVs. Okay. Then with good UVs, make sure those are enabled. So we're on good UVs right now. Go ahead and do a UV check. Okay, you see we got good UVs. So make sure those are enabled. Now all you have to do is hit uh, project all. This is going to take some time on my system, so I'll be going ahead of the video uh, on this. So I'm going to hit project all. Okay, so after the project all, if I notice I go ahead and turn my bad UVs off, I'm on good UVs and I have captured that detail 
from my bad UVs and put it on my good UV one. And if you notice, I don't have that section anymore. I have back to the normal layout that I had. And if I go ahead and look at my texture and I go to the UV check, I still have my good UV layout. So there's a quick way to add some really detail to maybe in a certain section you want and how to keep your UVs. So there is another way to do that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete this good UVs from here. Okay? And with bad UV selected with that detail that I added, I'm going to go ahead and append the brush head now. So let's append that brush head. Okay, so now that I have that brush head appended, and I've select that and it's on its highest subdivision level, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Z project brush, and I'll put it on freehand. So this is going to do the same thing as projectile, however, I'm going to be slowly sculpting in what I'm going to be doing. So of course you can play with your intensity slider here, so I'll just put it up to 100. Now I want to bring in these bumps now onto just this head. So of course I can play with this any way I want since I'm using the brush and I'm not letting ZBrush control this. So if I turn off my bad UVs, as you notice now under the brush head, I had just brushed in that information. And if I go down to my UV check here, I still have my UVs. So those are two ways of using project all, using your Z project brush to capture detail, but also another great way to get in a certain section of any tool that you have. Maybe you want to add some detail and then get back your UVs that you've maybe laid out.